Are you done? Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Like Nature. Today we are going to be uh, talking about Marvel Avengers. Yes, there's a new patch. A big patch. Very significant, very important patch because it contains the files of the new event which is going to be live from Thursday. So without further ado, let's dive straight into the patch notes. Uh, so let's go. As you can see right here, it's already out kind of for Xbox, Steam and Stadia. Not PlayStation, strangely, but it's going to come out today. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty weird that PlayStation is getting delayed. Normally, we get it first, then another system gets it later, but that's fine. So there's new features. So there's Tech in Anomaly event. The entire event begins on April 22nd and lasts until May 3rd. And includes a Temporal Assault event, a new Tachyon Rift mission, Lower level Tachyon Rift missions and animated nameplates. Temporal Assault events, uh, aim tampering with time, has led to periodic ta uh, Tachyon anomalies. Have more than one of the same heroes in the strike team and during matchmaking daily missions for this event reward and priority set gear for the hero you're playing regardless of level. Completing the weekly mission will reward you one piece of gear with the hive mind set per hero above player level 120. Each hero below 120 will get an epic item instead. New Tachyon missions, the Tachyon Rift mission and we're back in um, and we're back take place in the city biome. Can you beat the Clock. Then there's animated nameplates. So we're very interested in stuff right here. So we're introducing temporal assault uh, nameplates, which are animated nameplates, who you can get to add some shine to your experience. You will receive an animated team nameplate as a reward for first completion of the weekly mission chain or daily mission that can be used on any hero. Subsequent completions will not award more nameplates, additional hero specific nameplates, this being Thor, Cap if you want those specific ones for a specific hero, will be available within the marketplace. Cool stuff. A custom harm room update, so it adds two new enemy groups to the custom harm room. So it's dead bots and airborne, the dead bot groups are way focused on dead bot enemies, of course. And then we have the airborne one. And it's around the flying enemies. I don't know why they have to be so specific about it, but bless their souls. At least they're trying. Reassemble campaign and Avengers initiative. So villain sectors missions now properly update and rotate with new missions. This is awesome. I still never have the Hank Pym particle accelerator, so this is good for me. Uh, a second Black Widow no longer appears at the war table during the uh, mistaken identity. Intro cutscene. It's very interesting that it's that specific one. Mistaken identity, two black widows, whatever. <laughs> In the Hawkeye's mission, the mission outro no longer leaves the player on a still image for a projected period of time before progressing. I actually had this a little bit, but yeah, that's good to see that. In the light that failed, activating a major artifact no longer causes issue in Iron Man's flight tutorial. Assignments no longer reset when switching between missions given a faction terminal. Resolving the issue on global presence where enemies may not spawn during multiplayer sessions. Player can no longer go out of the world of Tachyon mission. Breakout due to rapid flying through the map as Iron Man before parts of the environment. Uh, here, various stability optimization and improvements. Uh, Steam improved loading times. Very good stuff. Multiplayer and matches. So, fixing an issue with the PS5 and PS4 players did not transition successfully to the Quinjack upon Warzone completion. Fixed an issue where players would sometimes have different NPCs at the helicarrier after matchmaking. Fixed an issue where matchmaking. Uh, could be disabled for players within 
their input a resolved an issue where players cannot join another player's active war zone that they just left turbulence elite and desert vault elite uh, missions appear correctly on the war table and various matchmaking optimizations are improvement okay so art and animation update to kate bishop's uh, that sign out for to rename it to heart that's good kingdom hearts the tank pry in animation at secrets within no longer appears broken kamala's hands no longer become enormously gigantic uh, when playing press when players press both the melee attack button and the jump button at the same time well embiggened fixed an issue where crates and resources containers would flicker at longer distances uh, resolve multiple issues where aiming or using ranged attacks immediately before using a finisher could result in a bugged animation, inability to aim, or camera issues. I haven't experienced that myself. Added audio to Hawkeye's takedowns in the marketplace in case where there was no audio. That's a very weird update, man. I don't understand that one. So you're saying like, oh wait, I get what they're saying. Like, I remember I've seen some people, yeah, they were playing as Hawkeye and then they didn't have audio uh, with the takedown, which is a very weird glitch, but glad to see that's there. So I think we have to buy another one. I'm, fi I'm fine with the ones they gave me. I'm still working on that uh, challenge card. And then the user interface. Updated the character select menu to more accurate reflections on the clickable area to select a designated hero. Uh, faction reward notifications no longer pop up consistently during a mission. Okay, after defeating the war bot in Family Reunion and watching the cinematic, the player's HUD now properly uh, appears. Good stuff. Codex entry for the elite uh, dreadbot is properly unlocked. Great stuff. General UI is improved and fixes combat fixed a rare issue where sometimes the player would not be able to jump or fly after using warzone elevator i didn't have that problem uh hawkeye's heroic ability can now activate immediately after gripping cool stuff uh, fixed a rare issue where kamala's high five would sometimes not fully stretch out and instantly linger in front of her i had that uh fixed an issue where adaptoids lasers Beams can continuously fire despite being defeated. Thor's God Blast no longer, no longer knocks drones away permanently before the Thor can finish uh, casting the ability. Then the last thing, a uh, significant thing in the update. Well, not really a big thing, but this is just for all the full patch notes. In Gathering of Evil, Abomination no longer gets stuck on the center structure these are so much of fixes and i think this is probably the not the biggest patch but uh for patch wise that doesn't consist of new heroes and new story i think this is the biggest patch because this is the first event to the game and i'm happy to see that things are starting to roll off within the game lots of stuff are coming towards the game i'm happy but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you guys uh, have excitement for this? Are you guys excited for the Tachyon Anomaly event? Are you guys concerned about the animated nameplates? Even though later on they said they'll uh, improve on those as well. They'll make new ones with moving characters instead of the... Uh, not Snapchat filter, I want to say, but uh, without that filter above just a normal rate. Uh, nameplate, but it does look cool. I actually like it. So yeah guys that is it for the video Leave a like helps me a lot comment down in the comment section down below what you guys think share with friends share is Karen and most importantly subscribe to become a fellow lightning bolt Anyway guys that is it for the video and as always this is the lightning H8 uh, Blaze out